Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have got a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout featuring not only the awesome new watercolor wishes pattern paper collection from Lawn Fawn, but lots of new and older Lawn Fawn stamps and dies used to create a layout. I really, I don't scrapbook as much as I used to. Um, I think I mentioned this a couple weeks ago when I shared another layout featuring Lawn Fawn. And so when I do, I try to use my stamping supplies as much as possible or my card making supplies because I get the most from them that way. So I try to think of some of my supplies in a different way. I've got some of the six by six watercolor wishes paper here, as well as some of the Lawn Fawn cardstock. This is in the sunshine yellow or sunflower yellow. And what I'm gonna do is layer those and I die cut those using a small stitched circle stackable and then a brand new zigzag circle stackable and that is going to create a sunshine element for my layout then i'm going to die cut a banner using an extra sentiment banner die and i'm going to use the finley's abc's dies and i'm die cutting all of these from scraps of black cardstock that i have in my scrap file this is going to be a layering piece i often times when creating a scrapbook layout like to have some sort of a shadow element um, it helps keep or helps make your greeting not greeting title uh, really pop off the page so not only am I going to die cut my title which is the word sunshine or part of the title the word sunshine from black cardstock but I'm going to die cut it from scraps of lots of different lawn fonts uh, cardstocks Using the Plan On It Holidays stamp set on my banner, I am going to stamp a date and some little elements. I, the Plan On It stamp sets are fantastic, not only for planners, but for adding dates or little words and things as you'll see as I create this layout on scrapbook pages. This, In this case, I'm gonna add my date with some of the fantastic stamps from this, stamping everything with Versamark ink, and then I will heat set it with white embossing powder. Adding a date to a scrapbook page is so important because you think you will always remember exactly when the, that event or the occasion happened, and more often than not, the years go by and you can totally forget. So I'm a big fan of making sure I add the dates, especially on my scrapbook page layouts, so that I know exactly when those photos were taken or when the event happened. I'm going to use some pliers here to hold this and keep my fingers out of the inked up date. And then I'm simply going to heat set this. This is Got some cute little dot detail and of course the June 2008. I will heat set this with my embossing gun. And this is gonna be the little element that goes across the sunshine in the bottom right corner of the layout. And then I will also computer generate some journaling and print it right on the circle. So the circle is gonna serve two purposes. It not only will serve as a embellishment on the page, but as a place to house my journaling. From the additional colors of cardstock, I did die cut all of those letters using the Finley's ABCs. I skipped ahead a little bit simply because I'm adhering the word sunshine around the mocked up sunshine I created from circle dies, layering a colorful letter on top of a black one slightly offset so it has that bit of a shadow. Now I trimmed down this panel a little bit to it's so because it wouldn't go through my big shot as a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So this is about a half sheet of paper, the background watercolor wishes pattern. And I'm gluing all of these letters in place first. I wanted a good idea of where the word sunshine was gonna go. I have not adhered my sunshine element yet because I want to run that through my printer with my um, journaling for my page before I adhere it to this. 
but I need an idea of where to die cut the embroidered hello die. This is a brand new die as well for Lawn Fawn, and I love it for creating some really fun hand-stitched elements. There's also an embroidered thanks, and I think they are fantastic. So Hello Sunshine is going to be the title for my page, and I'm just gonna simply run that through my die cutting machine to die cut the little holes, and then I can hand stitch the word hello using a back stitch. And in this case, I'm gonna use a black embroidery thread. I will not um, make you watch the entire stitching since it does take a few minutes to stitch. It doesn't take long. I mean, the pre die cut holes make it so much easier than trying to just do it by hand, which I have done in the past. So I think these are fantastic for creating not only titles for scrapbook pages, but they are great for cards. I even have an example of that that I will link to at the end of this video where I use the embroidered hello die to create an embroidered uh, greeting card. So lots of fun ways to use this. I am gonna go ahead and stitch this whole thing. I did choose to do black simply because the word sunshine is in the rainbow color and it's really bright already and I wanted the hello to really pop. I think I used all six threads of embroidery floss to make it nice and bold. When I'm finished, I just taped it up on the back. That's gonna help it keep flat rather than having any um, knots on the back of this panel. Then I've got a bunch of pieces of cardstock and watercolor wishes paper. I'm gonna round corners with a corner rounder. Have some little tabs up at the top. And this is gonna be my background. Lots of layering going on here. It's gonna add lots of interest. While I did die cut all of those colorful letters for the word sunshine, I forgot to mention that I did die cut a bunch of hearts from those same colors of cardstock using the Lawn Fawn Hearts dies, and I'll be adding those as elements to my page as well. Here is the sunshine and the banner and everything all coming together on this panel. This is gonna be kind of the background. I'm matting it on a little bit of white, and then I'm gonna be tucking all of these tabbed pieces of paper in the background, kind of at angles. I've got a photo collage created with a Carrie Bradford Studio photo collage. And these tabbed pieces of paper, paper will add interest in the background. I want them kind of all going just slightly at angles. Then of course my greeting, which is a focal point of the page and this last tabbed element with my photo collage, which the photos definitely are the focal point of this page. Then I will add some stamped words to those tabs along the top. This is where those plan on it stamp sets come in so handy. All those little teeny tiny words are fantastic. Those are some of my most used types of stamps for scrapbook page layouts. I've got my journaling, I've got my title, I've got my photos, I've got the background built. Now comes the part where you can add embellishments. And I created a lot of my own by die cutting hearts from black cardstock and from some of the rainbow colors of Lawn Fawn cardstock. There are so many cardstocks now. I absolutely love all of the colors of Lawn Fawn cardstock. They are fantastic. I will attach those hearts throughout the page. To reinforce the heart feeling, I've got some wood veneer hearts from my stash. Some of these little clips, I think they're doodle bug. They're old, I've had them forever. These little phrase stickers are Teresa Collins. Again, I've had them forever. I have not bought a lot of new scrapbook embellishments or products in a long time. Um, so I make do with what I have. That's where I said I kind of make my own with my card making supplies, which I think is very fun. I will add a few of these clear droplets from Pretty Pink Posh, layering some of the stickers and embellishments over the photos kind of ties the whole thing together. The embellishments go from that bottom left to the top right, basically. I will finish adding these, layer some of the hearts one on top of another. Some are gonna be 
by themselves. I'm using some Zotz Bling glue dots to attach any of those small things. You could also use a little liquid adhesive if you prefer. Just depends on what I'm attaching, what kind of glue I use. Some Ranger Multi Matte Medium will work great for the wood veneer. You don't have to worry about those going anywhere if you use that glue. The Quick Stick Tool works great for picking up anything small and putting it right where you want it to go. Go ahead and add just a few more things. This is always the part I think while it might be the most fun, maybe takes the longest, I like to kind of mess around with all these little pieces, figure out where I like them to go. I very much use hearts and stars a lot. Um, I like very generic, basic embellishments for the most part. And then I'll mix in something like that handmade sun. So I will go ahead and add just a couple more things and this scr scrapbook page layout featuring the brand new Lawn Fawn Watercolor Wishes pattern paper collection as well as lots of other dies and stamps from Lawn Fawn is finished. Thanks for joining me today for this scrapbook page layout. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping and layout videos. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.